What's up, guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome back to another pottery video. We're heading downstairs to the studio to unload a glaze kiln. We got our coffee, delicious Mocha Monkey coffee, and uh, got a full kiln here. Hope everyone had a good weekend. We had a good weekend. I went to the Waconia Triathlon, saw some people, some friends do that. Went to uh, Went on the lake, we got Ryder up surfing for the first time with me. I mean, he's one years old, so he's not gonna do it on his own. Let's open this kiln, see what's inside. Is it gonna be? <laughs> <gasps> do this one a little differently instead of having the camera pointed like in while I'm like unloading I'm just gonna unload them put them here and then talk about them hopefully that works for you and then keep watching at the end of this video we're gonna announce who won the giveaway so the thousand subscribers that we hit so pumped we're gonna figure out a random way to select a winner for that so thanks everyone that's voted on that I'm gonna put up tallies and see which glaze won so I'm kind of excited to see which glaze won there's over 200 some comments so all right without further ado let's do it how does this setting work for you for everybody just reminder to everybody I'm a potter I'm not a videographer although I'm trying to be Ooh, first things we got are these sweet Lake Waconia mugs I've had so many people wanting these so I'm gonna have to sell them for like $100 a piece to make it worth it. Just kidding, I'll probably sell them for like, I don't know, 30 bucks or something. All right, we got four of those. We got a plate. This is just a plate we'll use at Mocha Monkey, kind of worked. So the nice thing about having a coffee shop is just anything that I pull out of this kiln that I don't really like, we can just like use it up there. Two more of these Lake Coney mugs. They're awesome, they got this sweet thumb handle. I really, really like that a lot. Here's two little, um, Nicole, a girl that's been helping me in the studio and works at Milk Monkey, she thought I should make some planters so these have holes in them, like for little succulents. We're gonna start putting little succulents in those and selling them. Those are my first testers. So I'm trying out this matte white. I'm trying to do a little more with this matte white. So here's like a really like limey green on the top. This is a glaze that I don't normally do to a white, matte white on the bottom. Personally, it's not my favorite. I like the darker colors, but I know other people like this and when you're a businessman slash artist, you don't just make what you want to make, you make what you think is going to sell. To a certain extent, I mean, I make stuff that I like. So here's some more matte white. So this kind of is the same concept as that Canyon Skies glaze, but instead of having it be that brown, that really nice reddish brown on the bottom, it's just matte white on the bottom. So it's kind of cool. Got a piece of kiln shelf stuck to the inside right there. It's kind of annoying. Probably will just use that as a bottomless mug now. Got a few more of those. If you watch a bunch of Unloading the Kilns, comment below and tell me if you like this style better, where I'm just unloading and talking to the kiln and you can see everything, or if you like the actual camera pointed down, seeing me pull out the shelves. Shout, shout out to Nicole Tesh, she's helping me. Look how organized that is over there. All right, got two more of these green ones. That's a nice set of four right there. And then the next one is a similar glaze to that one, so it's got that same matte white on it but it's got a blue, it's got that, um, what I call that, ocean drip, that blue across the top, only it goes down to that matte white. So that's nice, those turned out pretty well. I think some people will, you gotta think about people's kitchens and you know, their houses and stuff, like people's houses are all different colors and they want stuff to match, right? So this is that Canyon Skies glaze that if you watched some of the previous videos, I love having names for glazes now, it's so fun. So that Canyon Skies, I really like it here, not as much back here where you don't get those kind of creamish purpley color that makes it really look like a sky. But that's pretty cool too on the other side there. These all have kind of a different looking handle for me, different shape, kind of more like a squared off shape instead of like a really fluid. You know when you're making like however many mugs I'm making, a lot. It's fun to try different shapes. All right, last shelf. Got some more Minnesota mugs. This Minnesota, I actually just glazed the top part of that Minnesota. It looks okay, someone will like it. Ooh. And then we got some more of these pine tree mugs, which those, whenever I have any of those on the shelves, they always sell. 
Ooh, this one's really cool. This one's got like a little uh, water scene to it too. I like that one a lot, that one's cool. So I had to remix some new gla uh, green glaze. So that's just the plain green. So I wanted to, this is just a mug that I have that's testing, it's a giant mug. It's probably like 30 ounces. Um, so I know it's a little too thin, so I'm just gonna keep letting that water evaporate at the top or skim some of the water at the top. I'm gonna do a video soon about how to tell about the thickness of your glazes. I think that's something that a lot of people would benefit from. Minnesota. Oh, coffee. Here's a few with the, um, oh, that one's kinda cool. Got the Minnesota with a pine tree. Another Minnesota with a pine tree. So this is the Northern Woods glaze around the top, but on the black on the bottom. And I don't like it as much. I like it with the blue on the bottom better. And then here is a custom mug with a custom quote on it. Matt White, the quote. That turned out very cool. I like it. The Matt White, you know, it's growing on me. It's growing on me a little bit. That's it for this kiln. Pretty much 95% mugs, which is equivalent to about our sales, probably. Unfortunately. Not unfortunately, mugs are sweet. They got, they're just so versatile, you can use them for tons of stuff. Anyway, all right, I'm blabbling. Blabbing, blabbling, babbling, babbling, blabbing. Huh. So we're gonna do the giveaway now. You ready to see who wins? I don't even know who wins right now. We'll probably have Ryder do it. All right, let's try and do a sweet transition home, huh? Ready? Thanks for watching this unloading kiln. Let's find out who wins the giveaway. We're gonna go into this mug. Oh. Gonna turn the AC on. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're in the car on the way up to the cabin for the 4th of July. We thought we'd do the giveaway here. So I'm gonna pick like randomly five names of people that were entered into the drawing. And then we'll have Ryder pick the winner of that. When he wakes up. When he, yeah, he's definitely sleeping right now. It's all of our stuff. Looks like we're leaving for about a week. Fourth of July hat, my fourth of July so sunglasses. Cool. Right so now we have to add up all the people that submitted their favorite glazes. We have to figure out which glaze won, right? Super interested. What do you, which one do you think won? I think Northern Lights won. I'll check back in when I have them all added up and let you know who won in like 45 minutes. <laughs> this car that we're driving in right now, Decent I car. probably couldn't even sell it for like $300. But to me it's worth like $300,000. So it's a sentimental car to me, I like this car. Me and this car have bonded. I've slept many nights in this car. And when I say many, I mean like five, seven maybe. Ocean drip, canyon skies, northern lights and North Woods are neck and neck. Tied at 18. Jeez, you have like... <laughs> so many to go. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, two. I predicted Ooh. that. You did, so after my tally, which is... Northern Lights. Probably close to accurate, but I'm not doing that again. The winner is Northern Lights with 55 out of the 200 and change comments. So Northern Lights was number one. Ocean Drip had 52 votes, that was number two. Number three was North Woods with 38 votes. Number four was Canyon Skies with 35 votes. And the last was Sea Green with 22 votes. One, two, the blues, we like the blues. Yeah. Thanks everybody for voting. All right, now I'm going to randomly select Five people attempt to uh, like grab someone from each like section. So I'm gonna go all the way to the first comments, and then I'm gonna go to the second part, third part, like all the way to the newest comments. Tell me when to stop, okay? okay? I'm scrolling through the first part. Stop. Judy Keller. She liked the number five, Northwood. Stop. Boop. John Lamb voted for Canyon Sky. We're gonna choose five. We're in the middle section now. Tell stop. me when to stop. Jennifer Sanderson. Jennifer voted for Northwood with three exclamation marks. Really wanted Northwoods. Whoa! And that's this, why car. this car is worth three hundred. Ah! And the towards the beginning. Stop. Oh, yeah. D. G. Smith. 
Okay, DG Smith voted for Sea Green and Opus Ocean Drip are amazing, but if I had to pick, she would say Ocean Drip. So she voted for Ocean Drip. Headed into Minneapolis. We've gotta go through the cities, then we're gonna camp tonight in Taylor's Falls, or I'm gonna camp tonight in Taylor's Falls, and I'm gonna bike tomorrow morning to the cabin, and EC and Ryder are gonna go to the cabin. Hey, stop. Sydney Schneider. She's a student of yours? Yeah. Cool. Ocean Drip is what she chose. Thanks everybody for commenting. When Ryder wakes up, we'll have him do it. Okay, we got all of our names. Judy Keller, John Lamb, Sydney Schneider, Jennifer Sanderson, DG Smith. Now we're gonna have a rider choose. Come here, sweetie. Come here, come on, come get. Which one do you want? He just started walking, so this is very exciting. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? <laughs> <gasps> Sydney Schneider, you got it. That was awesome. Way to go, Ryder. Sydney Schneider. Comment on this video, Sydney, and we will uh, contact you to get you your mug. Thanks for watching this video. Hit subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. We'll see you in the next video. I'm